Okay, we are live. So, first time probably trying to run um, Conan. So this will be uh, this will be a bit interesting. Um, okay, so vultures spiral above the battlefield. Blood soaks into the rocky ground from hundreds of dying men and their horses. A grim reminder from the desperate hours prior. For those who fought and died, the battle was as purposeless as any. Prince Satabas of Karaja was tricked into bringing the army to aid King Ulamkala of Akapitana in a war against his cousin, King Nezarab of Shemir, another of Shem's eastern city-states. So confident was the outcome, so confident of the outcome was Satabas that he brought with him his bride-to-be, a sticky and noblewoman named Neferet, along with her closest handmaiden. With them was also a small delegation, envoys and court officials. They bore princely gifts to cement the deep and everlasting friendship between Karaja and Akipatana, a chest containing fistfuls of gems, urns of precious oil, bolts of Turanian and Catanian silks, and other fine cloth, ingots of precious metal, measures of rare and fragrant wood, a sumptuous collection of finery befitting a royal visit. The battle, though, was over before it could even begin. In the days prior to Satabus's arrival, Ulamkala and Nezarab had made peace with one another, messages travelling via bird. The two Shemitish kings agreed to unite and destroy Satabus's army as a show of solidarity, an act of betrayal that would serve to weaken Karajan resolve against further incursions into Shem. Seeing that the day was lost, Satabas sounded the order to flee, and as the horns echoed across the desert, his mercenary army scattered across the dry plains and into the nearby foothills of hard-baked gullies. They were pursued by the Asurai, picked off one by one. Satabas and his cadre of knights fought valiantly to protect his beloved Neferet, but the caravan with her litter was cut off in retreat. Their fates are unknown. Each of you was part of Satabas's army, soldiers, archers, knights. And you're here now. Somehow the last wave of Asurai and footmen missed you. Everyone else is dead. So, starting with Simon, where are you? What are you doing? Um, I am... I have just finished a battle, or rather I've just survived one. Um... But there was something strange with my battle. Um, the troops that were fighting me were didn't seem to act of their own accord. They seemed to be led by someone who was actually directing them. Um, and although we smashed them, um, the person that was leading those troops got away. And he wasn't dressed as a warrior. Okay. Okay. Do you want to describe Baldor as well while you're while you're at it? Okay. Baldor is um Baldor is a Cimmerian. He's um he's wearing a fairly heavy set cloak. Uh, with fairly sort of like rough rough clothes. Um he's carrying a a Kernian horsebow. Um he has I'm assuming it has a horse. I haven't found one yet. No, I don't have a horse. Okay. I don't think anybody's likely to start right at the beginning of this particular one with a horse. Okay. Um, he's carrying a whip as his main weapon. He's wearing a male shirt. He's also carrying a second bow, a Bossian longbow, um, which I'm assuming he'll use when he's not on horseback. Um, he's a fairly... Yeah, he's a fairly, um, he looks like a fairly, a man that's fairly light on his feet, fairly well coordinated. Um, probably not, not the most prettiest and prettiest of men, but yeah, that's Balor. Okay. Um, Doug, do you want to tell us about Genghis and what he's doing stood on the aftermath of this battlefield? Yeah, so I was part of a, 
an archery troop that was hidden in the trees and our mission was simply to pepper the enemy troops with arrows to uh, slow their advance to allow the retreat um they never came our way so uh we were just waiting along nothing really happened and then we heard the sounds of battle in the distance and we're basically making our way there uh unknown what we're gonna see ready to uh to ensure that our potential queen gets away as she's meant to in in terms of genghis he's a uh slim bronzed figure fairly well chiseled but not overly big he's obviously looked after himself um he's got a rough look to him like he's worked hard from his from his youth um his his bow his harconian bow has been tailored slightly to suit him as an individual um, almost like he knows exactly what he's doing with it um without actually changing any of its characteristics or anything Matt, he's uh, fairly lightly packed. He doesn't seem to carry much with him, indicating he's ready to move uh, at a moment's notice and his uh, feet always alert to his surroundings. Okay. Charlie, uh, give us the lowdown on Actian now that he uh, has abandoned the, uh, the warrior ship that he was, uh, was on <laughs> and has somehow yeah. ended up in in Satabus's ill-fated army deeper into Shem than he's been before. Yes. Well, he was standing in the reserves near the back. Not where he wanted to be, but he's there. And a few reserves that are left on one of them. Um, I ended up here because I need the money. Um, I've been a pirate for quite a while, so I've obviously struggled to survive and keep enough money going. I do have a share in a small watercraft. Um, I'm a stocky sort of chap, reasonably athletic, not super athletic, and a very good fighter. Okay, I think Bell's having problems with her microphone. Uh, so I will... Thumb's working. Ask, <laughs> thumb's working, but the microphone isn't. Um, Sick. Can she do it in sign language, Macon or something? <laughs> Sorry, that's what chat's for. Um, okay. <laughs> so, yeah, so you guys are <laughs> kind of, now that the, 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 the Asura have, have fled off um, after, the, after the ambush that, that took you guys out, um, you guys are kind of starting to to move out from wherever it was you were you were hiding the the um <laughs> okay um yeah so you guys are um are starting to get out and 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 spot one another and and move i'm guessing fairly stealthily towards one another to uh to try and work out um what you're doing the um the ground uh, around you like i say is, is kind of mostly hard baked clay um and um there's there's gullies and little ravines that that go through places um there's like i say a a, a lot of dead bodies dead horses strewn about the battlefield um the sun is is beating down and off in the distance you can hear the occasional um sounds of hoof beats and uh the uh the, the shouts of of warriors in the distance and you guess that's the uh the asurai the 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 shemite mounted um mounted troops um clearing out any stragglers so it's probably only a only a matter of time until they uh until they get to you guys and, and and realize that you're still about can i look around for more people who are still alive from this party and join up or from this war battle <laughs> yeah it's it's pretty much the only people you can find that are, that are still alive that you can see where you are um are just the four of you okay so, 
Well, I'll suggest that we go find some cover somewhere. Not that we want to hide, but <laughs> until we know how big the force is. Well, pretty much your entire army's been wiped out. Yeah, but how big are their searching force? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, they're probably just mopping up, but they'll be it'll be the troops that took out your took out your army so there's probably yeah. quite a lot of them out there yeah um yeah i've i've just come from the west just over that slight peak there and we we didn't encounter any of the enemy forces there which is why we've come this way maybe that's a, a way we can head sounds good to me sounds like a good idea Okay. Um, does somebody want to make me a survival roll? Might as well get a, get a roll out of the way. And the other thing is, um, anybody is it, who's got survival as a skill? Me, me. Hey. Me. Yep. Okay. Who me. else has survival as a skill? I'll have a quick. It's me. Bell stop. Okay. So. Um, yes, I have as well. Okay, is it? I mean, you've all taken a point in survival rather than just yeah, one point experience. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I got three points in both oh, experience. Two points. Experience. Two. I've got three. Okay. okay. So what we can do is, uh, I'm trying to find. Kaya has survival. Kaya has survival as well. Uh, yes, so, I got survival. Question is out of uh where are we baldor or genghis who wants to make the overall roll i'll explain how this works baldor does oh thanks bell i might have said <laughs> the, the <pleasure> to <laughs> doug okay so what i'm gonna say is okay not simon the rest of you can roll 1d20 each um, and see whether you get a success or failure. Um, Simon, you get to roll 2d20 if you want to. You could spend Doom if you wanted more dice. Uh, to be honest, you're looking for a 1, so there's probably not a not a lot of point. No, I'll just roll 2 dice. Okay. And a 2 and a 13. Okay. So you got a two and a thirteen, and what's your um, how many successes is that? So what's you what's your you've got a you've got a focus of three. Yeah. What's your overall um, skill? What's your target number in the far right hand corner? Eleven. Right, Eleven. Okay, so the thirteen doesn't catch it, but the right. two because that's underneath your focus. Yeah. Uh, that's two successes. So you get two successes off those dice. Bell, I'm guessing the 18, that's not a success. Uh, yes. Charlie, I'm guessing the 14 probably isn't a success. <laughs> no. Would have been for me. Doug, I'm guessing the four is, but isn't under your focus. So we have three successes as a total on the group, and you only needed a one. So I will give two momentum. Oh, there we go, right. I'll give them to Mr. Clark. So, um, actually, Simon, I will tell you, okay, mm -hmm. there are two things that you can probably learn quite quickly from the survival check if you want to. I was going to give you one of them. If you spend a point of momentum, I'll give you the second one as well. Oh, go on then. Let's spend the point of momentum. Oh, no, hang on. Hang on. Let me just check. Bell, is that all right with you? Is it all right for me to spend a point of momentum and find out the other thing? <laughs> no, it's like you decided I was going to roll this. I, I appreciate the fact that you're finally asking me permission for these things. <laughs> you wait until I see you, young lady. Turning Are emo you? won't be the only thing I send you. Yes, I'll spend the point of momentum, Louis. Okay, right. Drag one of those momentums out onto the, uh, onto the pile. And... Uh, I will tell you the um, okay fairly obviously you know it, it is um, it is hot and it is dry and it is dusty and it's you like are out, <laughs> you are out in the you, you are out in the sun um, 
you don't want to be out here for for too much longer you need to get shade you've got some water on you um some of the some of the bodies may uh be carrying water or or food but it's it's unlikely so there are there's two possible sources that you can think of of places where you could get water one is a um there is a come on places about half a day away uh you passed it on the way through there is an oasis um so you could head back to that the other um probable pl the other probable thing is if you can follow the um the tracks of neferet's litter um which headed off into the uh foothills um kind of pretty much in the opposite direction so you know it's it's you you're you're heading off to the to the west um to sorry you're heading off to the east back towards Karaja to go to the uh the, the old well and the oasis there um the litter headed off uh in in the in the opposite direction so off to the west um carrying jewels and who knows what else but obviously you know i don't need to point that out to you um but that's kind of heading off in that direction um that would also probably be carrying water and uh having having spent the uh having spent the momentum you are fairly sure you can track which direction um the litter went in or indeed you could also track your way back to the to the to the oasis i think following the litter because i think anybody that's trying to trying to trace us will probably go to the oasis looking for us because they'll realize we need to get there for water can we hide the tracks as we go or try to hide them to a point That, that, I think that'd slow our movement, but it's it's definitely an just, option. Just here and there, we'd have to hide them all. We just have to leave patches in the trail, so they have to hide every now and again. I mean, like I say, the the army was a considerable army, yeah. um, and there were. I mean, there's there's a lot. You could you could do what you needed to. It's not going to be easy to track anybody very much through through this if they didn't know if they're not specifically looking for you um a, a litter with carts and things is is quite a large thing to track but just trying to track four guys on foot it's unlikely you're going to need to uh that that you're going to leave a lot of traces so yeah would if a, we're following the litter could we hide the litter tracks <laughs> not our tracks <laughs> if we can follow the tracks other people can it would it would slow you down but with a with a decent survival score yes you could just here and there not every track they're just patches so it was difficult yeah. to follow no, no that makes that makes sense yeah you you can have a go at that just me or everybody <laughs> others please all join in i yeah. definitely join in yeah we'll all join in so I'll you're gonna to head then. straight out and go and try and follow the tracks Yep. Yep. Okay. Uh, bum, bum, bum. Okay. Okay. So you start to head out. Um, somebody want to make? Would we can do another team roll if you want? Uh, does somebody want to make an observation roll? No, I've got three for that. Oh, not bad observation. As a skill. I've got... I have not got it. I have... Oh, I have got it. I've only got a one in it. I've got a three, so... I've got what you got. I mean... At how meta are you, like... Louis, are you happy for us to give our scores and decide yeah, who's give, the best? Give, give scores. It's not a... It's, it's not a... Yeah, it's not so a big I'm I'm a twelve in observation. Is it is it your skill? I'm a three and twelve. I'm two okay. and twelve. Yeah. 
So yeah, okay. go with yours then, definitely. Because okay. you've got in a better case, focus. In which case, do you want to do what we did earlier? So everybody that isn't yeah. Charlie, roll one d twenty and tell me whether or not you get a success. And if you roll under a focus, obviously that's two successes. Negative. Oh, come on, behave. And Bell Baldor can roll for that just as a straight. If you don't have observation as a skill, you can still roll for it. Sorry, I have I have a one in it. I misread it. Okay. But still. Nice one, Simon. Oh, my God, I think I actually got under. Well, hey. Yeah, just. Okay, so oh, how many successes man. do we have? <laughs> so, Simon, <laughs> so Simon got one success. <laughs> Ooh. That's what you call a, a complete failure. <laughs> okay. That that really is. And okay, so uh Simon got a success. Did uh sorry, Bal Baldor got a success. Did Kaya get a success? Uh no. Okay. Right, so we have one success and one um <laughs> and Something. one consequence. I've, Something interesting. This is the first time I've seen a nat 20 screw someone over. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, a, a nat 20 in this game is is never good. It doesn't stop you from succeeding necessarily. But it does um it it, it, it does Hinder cause problems. It. Yeah. And if everybody fails their observation, uh, especially if you fail your observation so miraculously as that, um you uh so baldor and actian can both hear something something's not quite right something you you can hear the sounds but like i say there's there's a lot of gullies around there's a lot of places and you're trying to start to move um in the in the direction that you think the litter went um and you can hear them uh, or or baldor can hear them there and Actian is suddenly convinced that you 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 know exactly where they're coming from, uh, and you dive uh, into a a gully to try and get yourself out of the way of them, uh, only to find nine guys uh, walking up towards you. Um, there are um, and and one of the two groups has a um that the, has a has looks like they've got a, a kind of sergeant or a squad leader or something or with them um they're you know a, a, a medium range you, you kind of dive in and go quick down here that will get out of the way and as you turn the corner you suddenly they're coming up the gully towards you um characters in conan always go first unless I cheat and spend doom. Um, and it is down to you which order you go in and what it is that you want to do. So like I so said, the gully is not that wide. It's only about kind of, I mean, it meanders and, it, and it, it changes, but it's probably only about 10 feet wide, something like that. And there's these 10 guys coming up towards you. 10 now. Sorry, nine. Still nine. <laughs> Still nine. <laughs> Was that a point of doom you used to increase the number? <laughs> don't don't tempt me. I can. <laughs> I've, I've got lots to play with at the moment. So uh, they're running. They're coming. What sort of weapons have they got? Uh, they are they looking if, if aggressive. <laughs> they are carrying. Um, they're carrying bows. Um and uh it looks like they've got short uh got swords with them okay and, and shields so how close are they they're about 30 30 foot away something like that at the moment i'd say they're at medium range for a bow yeah would you say that they were expecting us or that we've got the we've got the throw on them at the moment, I would say both sides are slightly surprised, so it cancels out. It's not a surprise round, which means, like I say, in Conan, yep. initiative-wise, characters always go first. If you get surprised, obviously you don't. 
but no, I'm going to say in this case, you're not you you're surprised, but so are they. So when you come around the corner and see one another, you guys get to get to go first. Are they? Do they look like they're definitely from the other army, Louis? Yeah, they're definitely Shemites. In which case, we shoot one of them. Let's not muck about. Okay, your bow. You've got a close range bow and a long range bow. Yeah, and it'll be the long range one I'll probably be using because I. I mean, I've assumed that I'd only use the horse bow when I'm on the horse. Um, you'd use the horse bow for close range, and you'd use the long bow for long range. And these guys are at medium range, so it's and they're going to close Simon to you. I'll use the horse bow. Yeah, horse bow probably makes more sense. And I would imagine you've probably got the long bow strung over your back. Yeah. And you're more likely to be carrying the short bow. Yeah. Okay, yep, I will then shoot one of them with my horse bow. Okay, so you get two dice to attack with. Um, you Normally you need one success because you're shooting at range, which is one away. You're at medium range, they're at short uh they're at medium range you're you've got short range weapon um you are um you need an extra success for that okay. so you need two successes you can roll 2d20 uh yeah. i believe actually you have one momentum which i will nicely let you use this time to buy a dice if you want Sorry. and uh or you could give me some doom if you want to roll more dice. Sorry, Louis, can I ask a question in mechanics? Do the uh, successes roll over? Successes, any successes that you don't use, any successes you don't need that are above what you need, you uh, you get momentum back for, and then you can okay. use those either for, um, there's a, a list of example spends on the, on the front of the reference sheet I sent you. Yeah, I saw or that. you That's can use them to, to buy extra dice to attack with. And then at the end of each round, the group momentum will tick down by one. Yep, cool. Thank you. Okay, so Baldor, you've got one momentum. Yeah. Um, so that will let you roll 3d20. Um, yeah. You've, you're going to have to get... Um, you're going to have to get uh, two successes in order to hit. But obviously any successes you get above that are not necessarily wasted. And um, I will... I'm more than willing to sell you extra dice um, for Doom. Of course you are. Um, no, I'm going to spend the point of momentum. Okay. Roll me 3d20 against your ranged attack skill and tell me what you get. What's your ranged attack, by the way? Uh, where would that be? That ranged weapons under coordination. So you're on the right-hand side of your character Yeah, I'm just sheet. looking. Um, my target number is 16. My focus is free. Okay. Very nice. We like that. Okay, so roll 3d6. Yeah. You can type, I think, just 3d6. Uh, 3D rolled 20, a 10, 20. 19, and a 4. Okay, so you got two successes there. Yeah. Uh, okay. So, um, which of the groups are you aiming for? There's there, there's uh, one that's got four guys in it and one that's... Actually, sorry, let me put that around the other way. There's one that's got four guys in it. Yeah. And there's one that's got uh, three guys and what looks like a squad leader. I'll shoot the squad leader. Okay, if you try and aim specifically at the squad leader... I'll shoot the group of the squad leader in it. Let's make it easy. Group of the squad leader in it. Okay. Right. So... Um, you manage to hit them because they don't have the option to um, to parry, uh, and you get to roll your damage. So roll as many um, combat dice as you've got um, on your on your bow, which on your be free. Sheet. I've got four. Are you looking at the, the top of the corner? Because one of those is for sword, and one of those is for the bossy and longbow. Ah, oh, oh, right, the second okay. sheet, you've got, you've got the horse bow, like which is, bow. yeah. Right, sorry. Okay, yeah. So, in which case, yeah, you got four. Um, so, you got three. Yeah, okay. So, roll me 3d6. Okay, so you got... total of 15. Okay, 
you don't have i don't think this is where once we once you get used to playing this is a a, a nice easy it, it keeps uh it, it keeps rolling up so that three um, is nothing so the three is nothing and you i was just looking down you don't have a skill that lets you re-roll damage dice okay so yeah so the three is nothing the six is two damage um the normally the effect normally it would have an effect but i think the bow's o, the bow's only effect is volley, volley. which is that's something you can pick up beforehand so uh so you do uh what do we say so that's two points of damage yep um to the guards who are wearing enough armor that it soaks okay so they don't take any damage um, a quick note so that's Okay. Um, who wants to go next? Who and else has a bow or a ranged weapon? Yeah, I think I'd, I'd follow um, Baldur's shot with uh, another one of my own. Okay, so you're looking for two successes. Yep. Uh, you're going to get 2d20. Yep. You can just roll two dice or you can buy... Um, you can buy extra dice with Doom if you would like. Uh, for the first roll, I think I'll stand uh, the 2d20. Okay. Uh, that is one. One makes it just, and one is a focus. Ooh, so that's three successes. Yeah. So I take it, th so my scores are 13, so hitting a 13 counts. Yes. Or does it have to be lower then? No, 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 no. Equal to or lower then. So your first. Okay, dice, so your third. Yeah, one success and one focus. And your one focus gets you two successes. So you get three successes. So I am going to give you some momentum for that. And mm -hmm. you managed to hit. Which of the two groups are you aiming at? I followed exactly the same shot that um, Baldur aimed. So I'm aiming at the group with the captain or the sergeant. Okay. So how many dice damage do you do for your bow uh we got a bonus damage of two, two. so you're so taking three plus two yes yeah, so you're rolling five damage now what you can do because you've got a momentum is if you want to yep you can choose and you can do it after you've rolled your damage dice you can spend all momentum to do one extra damage okay we'll um, see what the roll is first yeah Oh, so that's, that's quite a good roll. That three, four, <laughs> that's six damage straight off. Um, no, I don't. I, so, anyone else can use my momentum as well, can't they? Yes, uh, no, I won't waste. Oh, sorry, I, I won't call it a waste. I won't use that uh, damage die on the chance that someone else can get a better, better attack roll. So, I'll keep the momentum as it is and take whatever the damage is okay so you cut through that through one of the guy's armors it's the same guy that simon kind of managed to hit but um he he, he shouts out as the uh, as the arrow kind of sinks into it sinks into his armor uh who wants to go next you don't fell him but you definitely kind of you definitely injured him um Have you got a bow? No. Nope. Just a um, sword. In that... <laughs> you can you can stay where you are and wait for them, or you could go and uh, charge them down. Well, they're thirty feet away, aren't they? You said. Yeah. Did you, you say get... thirty-five feet? Um, they're medium distance, which means basically they're they're in a zone next to you. Um, so you could you could cross to them and manage to get to them and still manage to attack this round. Okay, that's, gonna what, go. that's what I'll do then. I'm charging across and attacking them. Obviously, the nearest person. What exploit does? Uh, come on, I want exploit action. On. No, I'm not 
right exploit action as a standard action you could take your time so yeah you could carry out a uh, if you i'm not saying you can't charge them but you can take I'll an exploit, you, yeah. you could take an exploit action which would allow you to stand your ground and study them and then on your next attack uh, if provided you the, do an observation test and if you then take an attack you gain the piercing two quality which means you're a lot more likely to get through armor um and if you spend a point of momentum you add not only one bonus d20 but you also get one extra combat dice to your damage um so i'm not saying you have to do that but you can so if you stand and study them and try and work out what the hell they're doing you will get a bonus to it next turn or you can charge them this turn and but they could all get an attack in the meantime yep entirely your call um well there's there's nine of them so it's not a good idea to go rushing in so i will stand back and study them okay so make me an observation <laughs> roll so you get 2d20 for 2d20 unless you want to spend doom you get 2d20 and you're trying to get one success on observation there we go so i have observation ugh, lost observation i've got two successes because i'm 312 yeah okay so in which case i will give you a point of momentum for the extra uh for that and uh yeah so what you need to remember is on your next turn come on there we go so on your next turn if you add a point of um momentum if you point at a point of momentum you're going to get an extra damage dice and you've yeah. also whatever you attack with next turn you get um an attack you get a piercing two which basically i think means that uh for every effect you roll two points of damage will go straight through their armor okay so you basically you, you bypass um armor with that attack because you've spent enough time watching them and working out what's going on uh which Nine. brings us on to uh kaja okay kaya kaja um, um yeah of <laughs> you for pun in that never mind um unfortunately cage was expecting <laughs> um acting to charge as well um so she's going to be going charge 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 okay so she is going to charge him okay yeah so you've got <laughs> five guys in one group and four guys with a squad leader in the other four guys that so it's three soldiers and, and, and one squad leader who's kind of starting to shout out orders in the other well as well as the other two have been sending arrows towards the squad leader group she's going to be going to the other side okay right uh, in which case i'm not going to ask you to uh use the movement um you can make an attack two of your teammates have momentum that they could throw your way if you want them to, if they wanted to um it will tick down at the end of this turn um although it can be used for things like parrying when they start sending arrows into you um does anyone object if i steal one momentum well if you take one to hit from me bill and then that leaves potentially one for parry if you need it rather than use it for damage i'd say lobby job there thank you very kindly um so i'll be using one momentum then okay so if ducky gets rid of that one momentum he's got you can roll three dice and what's your Probably. melee score i am it is a uh, TN of 13. Okay, what's your focus? Oh, sorry. Uh, yes, it is three. Okay, so you got 13, three. So uh, roll 3d20. <laughs> Not 13 of them. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to avoid 20s this time. Okay, oh, so that's good. two. Oh. That is two attacks. Uh, you were fighting that group there, so you're going to pick up a momentum for that. Uh, okay, so you you charge down, and what weapon are you using? I am using my really funky weapon, which I've temporarily forgotten the name of. Broadsword. I'm sure I have something more funky than a broadsword. The blade of okay. K. Go, go. 
Go for the broadsword. Uh, okay. okay, so you go steaming in with your broadsword. Uh, how many dice damage do you do off that broadsword? 31. <laughs> Unlike what? Seven. Seven. Fine. Seven. seven. <laughs> okay. 31 sounds better. So, so uh, roll me seven. Oops, sorry. Roll me I'll roll six more. Yeah. Sorry, I'll roll, I'll roll six more because I accidentally pressed one. Okay. Did you have no mercy as a... You did. I may well... You've got no, yes, no mercy, uh... so... You might as well re-roll seven, and then there's one cool. roll you've got left. So no mercy allows you to re-roll damage dice equal to all ranks in melee skills, which you've got two of. So 7d6. So you can re-roll either that three or that four as well, if you want to. Yep, um, I've got two fours, so I'll re Oh wait, no. So I can only roll. Oh yeah, you got two fours one. and three. So re-roll one of them. Yeah. And you roll a three. Okay. So you get. Uh, where are we? One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. I am right about that. That's six damage. One, two, yep. and two, four. Yeah. So six damage. Okay. So six damage. Okay, you carve into this guy and you you don't kill him, but he uh, you, you definitely the guy that you've approached you just kind of scream in there and slice into and uh, you, you drop him to he's only got one um, one vigor left and he's a minion for uh, I mean it's a bit meta but he's a minion so basically when you remove him down to uh, to only one he drops. Okay, so um, I think it would be rude if the group that you've just charged didn't attack you. Um, Don't mind. They get to roll 5d20 because there are five of them. And I need to collar this. Ah, now, do you have you are in guard. So what is the reach of your broadsword? Because you already have guard. And I think um, if you got a if you got a shield, did you not get a shield? You actually didn't have a shield, did you? No, I've I've got no okay. shield and right. I have okay. a reach of two. Okay, you have a reach of two. These guys are using short swords, which have a reach of one. As you have guard, that makes it more difficult for them to hit you. Sorry, um, can you hear me? Yep, yep. Oh, excellent. Yeah, I can hear you. Okay, so <laughs> I need two successes uh, in order to um, in order to hit you. You okay. have the option of parrying if you want. I would like to parry, I believe. Okay, so um, you... Oh, actually, you know what? You got a point of momentum, didn't you? And I didn't point this out. Yeah. When you attacked them, because it was the last thing that happened, when you attacked them, uh, you, have, you had one point of momentum. Uh, you could spend that point of momentum on damage if you wanted to to instead of doing uh enough damage to almost kill them to do enough damage to kill one of them what do folks think if i spend one of the, that one point of momentum at the end of this turn they'll run out well if if charlie's <laughs> momentum's going to drop anyway and you've got a chance to uh kill one and still parry i'd say go for it yeah yeah you still get a chance to parry Yep, Sobby. I'll okay. add that momentum on, please. Right, so one of those guys drops, which means I only get to roll 4d6 against you. Woohoo! And you've got guard, so... Hang on. Slash R, Louis. Slash yeah. R. Plus R or just R? Backslash slash. R. Or slash slash R. R. Let me try this. There we go. Let's try the other slash. <laughs> I am trying to do a lot else in the background. Right. I know what am I doing. About it would help 20, if I was yeah? also doing D20, yeah. 
<laughs> um, you're 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 loving this, aren't you? Uh, right. Okay. So, what have we got? That's a nice roll. I got a. So this is coming. All I wouldn't be happy with it though, Charlie. No, nah, okay. I, I don't think oh. I like that that much. I tell you what, I think you are going to. They only get one success, so they actually miss you anyway. Awesome. Um, yeah, the the the. Um, oh, can you uh, bin your uh, momentum, Bell? Yes. Sorry, I just moved. How do I lose it? I think click on click it on once it. and then drag it off. I don't um, want to open up the deck. Go away. Yeah, you probably do want to open up the deck. No, that, that was a nope. that, that was a fortune. You don't want to keep one of those away. I'll give you that one back. Right. What I'll do is I'll do that. Go on, go away. You can go away. Click, 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 click. Hey. There we go. Hey. That'll do. Right. Sorry, it was not registering my click for some reason. But took about thirty tries to click on it. Okay, so yeah, so this the, you 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 down one of them, and the other four in kind of shock and surprise turn and try and attack you, and you're just parrying the parrying the blows and docking and dodging out of the way. Um, they, they're almost getting in one another's way. They're obviously kind of still quite surprised. Um, you're going all Wonder Woman on them. You can are. I make some? Can I make some scoff about them being incompetent idiots? Uh, you may indeed. Um, as you as you're ducking through your blows, you're just laughing at them. Um, Pretty much. The okay, the squad leader and the other group. Yeah, I think they're gonna. I think they're gonna have to attack you as well, given that you've charged in there on your own and you've slaughtered one of their men. So uh, yeah, the the, the, the guy at the front. I was expecting accident. Well, Pedro was expecting accident to charge as well. It's all there you go, Charlie. You yeah. let Bell down. <laughs> yeah. All right. So, uh, yeah, the, the 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 big guy in in front kind of draws his short sword um, and uh, and and yells out, um, clips the work, clips the guy next to him, and, and they charge down at you. Uh, okay. Now they get. He gets. Right, he's a toughened, so he gets two d twenty. So it's a four d twenty pool. Uh, you still have guard, and they are using weapons that are longer than yours, that are shorter than yours. Uh, so four d twenty, yeah, it's four d twenty. Does Paul roll in count then, Louis? Oh my life. Because obviously each one's rolling for two. Yeah, no, it, it automatically counts it up. Ignore the count underneath and just it it, it all just, it, it counts it up, but you you just ignore it. Uh, right, that is for two successes, but only two successes. Um, so that is enough to hit you unless you parry. Parry, parry, you parry, could, parry. You could ask Charlie for his last point of momentum because he's going to disappear anyway. That's what I was there for. You can roll 3d20 for Go your on. parry attempt. Go for it. If it's, it's going to disappear. Yeah, that. Why is mum asking if I'm going to come here tonight? I'm already here. That's what it was there for, wasn't it, Bill? Yep. <laughs> Right, so um, you could you could spend Doom if you really wanted to to really up your chances of parrying, but it's entirely up to you. Meh. Overconfidence is what I do best. Okay. Roll me three D twenty. So I press I forward slash R three D three D twenty. And one success is enough. Oh Damn it. Damn. <laughs> overconfidence fails again. Ow. Okay. Well, the good news is, actually, the good news is that uh, that 10, I think, is underneath your parry skill, isn't it? I am just double checking. Uh, parry, parry is PM underneath 40. coordination. You've got a 30, you've got a 14, three in that. 40. Yep. 
I'm pretty decent so, at parrying. Right. So, yeah, the parry, your parry skill uh, is, is enough that you manage to parry that and knock that blow aside. However, in doing so, I think I'm going to be nice to you. I'm just going to take two doom for that consequence this time because I can't for the life of me think what I should do instead. Uh, um, I, can I, um, I don't know if it takes into effect, but I've got skill deflection. Oh. Reduces the parry doom cost by one. Back to weapon. Yeah. No, that's that's fine. That's fine. Normally you'd have to pay momentum or doom in order to be able to parry. But you right. you can parry, I think, with that skill, I think you can parry something like three times in a round without having to pay for it. Cool. Okay. Which is Very nice. Quite nice. Yeah. Okay, so much to well, much to my shock and surprise, uh you can you can tell me what your characters <laughs> think of it. Um Kaya manages to, although she's like completely surrounded by bodies, just yeah, is is doesn't seem to have gone down. You can't actually see her at the moment. There's just too many blades whirling around her. Uh, so uh, there's no momentum to yeah. tip down. Uh, who wants to go first? Well, I'm ready to rush in now. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Do you want to do that straight away, or do you want to let the guys with the bows have a go first? Oh, I'm going to have a go with the bows first. Go on, yeah. Cutting the. Um, how high is this gully? Uh, at this point, Runner. probably not very. Um, what are you thinking? Head back out and get up on top of it. What I'm thinking is cutting up the gully, closing to within 15 feet, so I go from medium to close range, but also have height advantage. And then start peppering them with arrows. Um, I would say in order to get the, the sides of the gully are, are pretty steep and they're, they're they're really rocky. They're not kind of forty five degree angle. They're they're kind of seventy eighty degree angles. Okay. But, in which case, then I simply want to close the distance so I'm within close range, and yeah, no, then no. make the attack. Okay. Yeah, I'm all good for that. So you're moving pretty much almost into into melee range with them um but provided you can keep somebody between you and them hopefully they won't end up attacking you but yeah uh go for it you can um like i say you can launch a volley if you want to uh what which... what, what exactly because i'm trying to read what that says and what okay. i what i understand is it doesn't really use any more ammunition but i get an extra d20 on my no, attack it... It does. It uses. You can choose. So in your, um, on your character sheet, under I've your loads, you yep. had a bow and two loads. Um, so if you normally an attack with a with a volley weapon doesn't expend any ammunition, but if you choose to volley, you basically you get rid of one of those extra loads at least for this combat possibly for all of them i can't remember. Yep. I'm trying to remember what what you need to um after a spike uh spent loads were covered in the same way as shots yeah i'll have to remember how that happens and go look it up but um yeah so basically you you spend that load it gives you an extra d20 and it also means that you do one extra dice damage if you hit yeah it's cd sort of combat dice yeah cd's combat dice Okay, um, and I'm, I'm still limited to one target, though, aren't I? Yeah, so, the, the way that it works it's volley. is if, if you do serious damage, it will against uh, against minions, against mobs, if you hit one of them, if you do enough damage to more than kill one of them, the damage will move on to the next person within that group. So at the moment, you've got two groups. Uh, so if well, they've you, they've closed. They've all closed into surround uh, Kadja. Yeah, but they're still they are still for meta for for meta purposes. There's still two groups. Okay. Uh, yeah. Well, what I'll do is I'm going to fire a volley just just for um, mechanic points, so I can actually say I've done it. Okay. <laughs> would you so, like to um, Would you like to purchase any any other? Um, I'm not spending any, any doom. doom or. 
specials. Okay. No, I'm simply taking the three D twenty. As I'm now with it as I'm now within close range, I know penalty, so one success will do it. Okay. So uh, yeah, I go, go up for from it. two to three D twenty. Yep. And one success. Okay. One success given everything that's going on at the moment is enough for you to hit. So so uh, I go to roll now 6d6, not 5d6, because of my volley. right. Yeah. Uh, three, four of them oh, don't, but two are fives. What have you got in the way of um, skills? You haven't got a skill that lets you re-roll that, have you? Uh, I'm not sure, actually. Other than what I sent you in messages, I'm not sure. You know what? We didn't. Uh, that was the thing that I meant to do before we started was have a quick look. So uh, apologies for slowing this down even more than it already was. It's quite a fast. When you really get a hang of it, it's quite a fast system. Um, I've lost the message. There we go. Right. So you've got of saddle and bow. Somebody else has got a saddle and bow. Uh, Sentry. That's probably Balder. Yeah. Right. <laughs> accurate. You, oh, my life. You've got accurate and marksman. Right. Let me look those up. Uh, because those are both skills which might well be of use in this. Uh, nope, not that one. I want to go there. I want to open that. Maybe I get to roll the D twenty again. I think you might. I think you might. Uh, right. So I want skills and talents. I want ranged attacks. Ranged weapons. Accurate gives you. So you've got accurate and you've got marksman, haven't you? So accurate, yes. when making an attack with a ranged weapon, you may re-roll a number of damage dice equal to the number of ranged weapon talents and ranks you have acquired. And you've got two of those because you've got accurate and marksman. So that's two damage dice. And so what's marksman do? Two damage you get to re-roll. And marksman... You may spend a minor action before attempting a ranged attack, put a little more time and effort into your attack. When you do this, you gain one additional momentum for the attack. Okay. I wasn't so, aware of that. No. So uh, that's fine. You didn't use a minor a minor for anything. So I will say, roll me a roll me an additional D20, and then you can re-roll two of those D6s. So that's a definite hit. Yeah, that's not under. Okay, so you gain that's one momentum. That's not under my focus, yeah. Plus okay, one so momentum. Plus and 2d6. And another one hits. Okay. So, uh, I'll close the deck. There we go. Right, okay. So you got one momentum out of that, and you did. Where are we? One, two. So he only did three damage on that. You could spend that momentum that you earned if you want to to up that damage to four. Um, but it's down to you whether you do or not. Um, and I forgot to ask you. Who did that hit? Who are you I, firing? I was going in the same group. I'm, I'm still aiming for the same group. Okay. Right, so you managed to pit, you managed to send that in. Uh, so you got same one I hit before, four, didn't you? Yeah. One, two. No, you only did three damage, didn't you? Back to Doug. Five. If five, you, if you five, spend five, one point, of, if you spend one point of momentum, five. you will kill the guy that you shot last time. Does anyone have an objection to that? No. Nope. No. No. Drop him, please, Louis. Okay, he goes down, focus, focused on uh, on swinging for, for Kea. He completely fails to see it as this arrow slams into the back of him. Um, yep, fantastic. Okay. Uh, so dr lose that momentum from your sheet and um, probably makes sense for Baldor to go next, but it is entirely down to you. 
No, I'll go next. Right. Uh, you can take a volley if you want. You can just open fire. You could buy extra dice with Doom if you would like. Um, I'll just go for a volley, I think. Okay, so you scrub one of your, or temporarily at least, scrub one of your loads, and yep. you get to roll three d twenty. What's your? Remind me of your. Um, <laughs> where are we? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I. Uh, okay. Yes, my mind was uh, in the gutter then. <laughs> <laughs> so you get to uh yeah you get to roll 3d20 what's your ranged weapon score target 16. number of focus 16 free isn't it simon 16 oh that sounded like he's doing it with proper dice so a 6 All 10 right. and a 12 so 16 3 that is three successes uh, Sweet. You only needed. Uh, which group are you aiming for? The one oh, with the squad still going leader? for the squad leader. Yeah. You're still going for the squad leader. Okay. So yeah, sixteen, ten, and three. You only needed one to do that. So uh, you get two momentum from that. Uh, okay. So um, do you want to uh, roll me a damage? Okay. And you get one extra combat dice. Cover. So that will be 4d6. A 3, a 5, a 2, and a 1. 3, a 5, a 2. Right, so you scrub the 3, uh, but you get... So the 2's worth 2, so that's 4 points of damage. Um, you don't have anything on your character sheet that gives you a re-roll. Nope. Nope. Um Right, okay, so that is four points of damage. Uh, you could spend one or more of those momentum for extra damage. Uh, or where are we? This is Charlie to go after this, momentum. isn't it? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. I'll spend one point of momentum for extra damage. Or, or alternately, what you could do Mm. is you could immediately spend one point of momentum to ignore two points of their armor. I'll spend... And they are wearing armor. I'll spend the one point of moment momentum to ignore the armor. Okay. If you spend the other point of momentum, I reckon you'll kill him. Uh, I was going to say, oh yeah, go on then, why not? Okay. There we go, I've spent it. Right. So this, this group are looking a little bit worried uh, as they... Uh, yeah, as as two of them just drop um, like a stone from, from arrows hitting them. So one that, one that Genghis shot and one that Baldor shot. Uh, and, well, Actian or Kaya, I don't think either of you have gone yet. No. So, who wants to go next? Can you put the stuff in the washing machine? I'll go then. I'll, I'll head into the battle. Making sure the filter and, and go for the captain. Okay, you're going to go for the captain's group. Yeah. Yep. Okay. Uh, There's only two left there now. Right. <laughs> you had one extra dice from an exploit attack, didn't you? Was it one yep. extra d20? And you also get a uh, penetrating two. So I'll be rolling three d20 then. Uh, yep. Okay. Unless you want to buy Doom. No, no, I'm quite happy. Okay. Ooh, go Charlie. And what's your, uh, what's your melee score? 14-3. Uh, 14-3, so, four... so that's four successes. Four, four yep. successes. And you only needed one. Yep. So, you get three momentum from that. Yep. That Hello. is pretty good. Okay, uh, you have penetrating two. Yeah. And I think, was it an extra damage dice? Yes. 
That's what you said. <laughs> one point of if you wish, you may spend one point of momentum to add, on this test to add one bonus. To, ah, you should have spent a point of momentum in order to be able to get the extra damage dice and the extra thing, but you do gain piercing two. So I'm going to take. I, I'm going to ask you to give me back one of those. Uh, one of those points of momentum, which is a, a bit odd, but hey. Um, so yeah, get rid of one of those yeah. points of momentum, Go and ahead. fair enough. Right. Okay. So you gain one um, one damage dice. Uh, mm. So you roll whatever you would normally seven. roll for damage. That was seven. Yeah. Wow. Uh, right. Go for it. Yeah, I think that's good. <laughs> hit, 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 hit. They all hit. Get in there, Charlie. So it's seven. That's eight. That's eight. <laughs> that's eight damage and pretty much you bypass um, all of the armor that they hit right and you... the two piercing damage <laughs> yeah no the two piercing damage what the piercing does is for each of those four fives that you've rolled yeah. you bypass two points of armor okay so i'll bypass the armor basically uh so as they only had on two points of armor that uh you on the captain's group oh, i right. think we said otherwise you yeah you could have made a cold shot but don't get into that yet yeah. okay so you completely scrub one guy and i am going to pay a point of doom in order to get the commander to um right uh in order to get the commander to um get the opportunity to parry uh, which he's only going to do with 2d20, and his parry is... Oh, come on, it's parry under. Um, parry is under comes coordination, under coordination, yeah. Okay, so he's only got a 9-1. She's got fat flaming chance. Uh, oh. Okay, so he got one um actually you know what i can't no i'm not gonna i'm, I'm not gonna do this i'm gonna have my doom back uh the reason i'm not gonna do this is because oh, God, right the reason You're i'm not gonna piercing. do this he hasn't got armor. Is, <laughs> no it's it's not down to armor it's down to the fact that um you can't do crap it's just too complicated to explain it is this thing that i've already given you the momentum for the attack what I should then do is take away one momentum if you want to hit. Let's just sod it. He'll attack when you get a chance to do it. So you spent five points on that, so he drops by three. Uh, okay. So, yeah. he. he so just to double check, Louis, there's you. still two in that group. There, an no. Inj an uninjured no, there's, there's run one squad and the leader captain's... on his own. There's one squad leader on his own, and there's four guys that, together in a group. Okay, cool. Uh, and the squad leader is looking injured, which leads us round to Kaya. Um, is squad leader in range? You could attack the squad leader rather than the four guys that are trying to attack you. <laughs> I'll, I'll go for the four guys who are trying to attack me. Okay, because um, Actian's already fighting one on one with the with the squad leader. Okay, so. Oh. Uh, right, there is some momentum dodging about if Charlie wants to, if Charlie's happy for you to spend it. Yeah. I was going to say, it runs out after me, doesn't it? Well, yeah. after any yeah. carrying happens. Then it drops to one. Do you yeah. want to use, do you want to use both okay. of them? And roll, um, your I'll momentum, just... hang on, you've got, on your character sheet, I remember spotting this, you have... Death Blade, you get two dice for each do more momentum that you spend on melee skills. Um, so if you spend, if you spend those two dice, if if you spend one of those momentum, you will end up with four dice. Then he can pinch the other one for the attack. I think I might spend one hit. of those momentum, then, please. Yeah. Okay. Roll four d twenty. Oh, that was got a light on. <laughs> I know if Mum's oh. in, right. That's What's fun. your target number, Bill? I got distracted by Mum there. Oh, um, Melee target number and focus. The 
Melee is 3.13. 3.13. Okay, so that is one, two, four. That's yeah. four. Uh, you only needed one, so you pick up three points of momentum for that. Cool, cool. Go, bell. Right. Now, there's a variety of stuff you can do with momentum. Um, I mean, the obvious thing is, you know, you can just do extra bonus damage. Um, you could break guard. Oh, yeah, I should have been using guard on this, but I forgot, so we'll do that later. Um, cool chart, change stance. Um, you could try and disarm one of them, but probably not with this. You could do penetration. If you spend one dice, you will bypass armor. If you spend one momentum, um, you could... Um, it's a bit wise to keep... Um, sorry, just to clarify. Will the momentum run out after the guards attack? Yes. So... No, it, no, it don't run out. It's yeah. minus one at the end of the turn. So if you've got three, that'll only go down to two, not be gone completely. Yeah, that's true. So you could right, just roll okay. your damage dice, but if you want to spend one momentum... Spend mine. <laughs> Well, it doesn't matter if you want to spend. It's it's it ticks down by one for the group. Yep. It's okay. not like if all of if all of you have momentum, only one of you would lose that momentum at the end of the thing. It's supposed yeah. to once you've made your attack, you lob all the momentum in a bucket in the middle, but it's too difficult to do on it. Um, cool. Um, is everyone happy if I spend one just for damage purposes? Use it. Yeah, go totally. use it. Okay, so spend one okay. to bypass armor. Yeah. Um, which so that will bypass two points of armor, and then you get to roll whatever your damage is in terms Seven. of damage dice. Seven. Of which I think you get to re-roll two, don't you? Yep. That's handy. You've got no mercy. <laughs> right, so is it two you get to re-roll? Thunder, uh, no mercy on so, yeah. balance. So we're both three. Re-roll so. damage dice equal to, yeah. Uh, yeah. Re-roll yeah. damage dice, yeah. So I'll do. So that, that, you reroll those two threes. Oops. One of which. Okay, so you get one, two. Right, where are we? Actually, there's no twos there. So it's one, two, three, four. That's five, isn't it? Yes. Okay. Um, I'm guessing. Yeah, so this is the four guys that are attacking you. You just slice another one down. Let the bodies hit the floor. Um, yeah. There, there's going to be another round of cackling. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, while I'm working out what goes on, I am going to say, um, if you've got that um, reference sheet open... Yep. I do. Um, I would say to... Well, Bell or Actian... Yeah. Um, you could probably use Dead Man's Stare. If you ever look at displays of might and power while I'm working out what I'm going to do with these guys. So, so uh, you can skill melee, range close, three combat, combat dice, dice, area, two. vicious one. Yeah, and it's combat dice, the display of might and power, that is to their... Um, come on, what do you call it? Um, I forgot what we call it. That would be to their resolve rather than their vigor. Okay. So basically, uh, yeah. you could um, basically spend a round, next round, to hack off one of the heads of the fallen and then brandish it in front of everybody yelling <laughs> at them in the hopes that they shit themselves and run away. I, I'm going to be slightly annoying now, Louis, and right. say stain the soil red... You have Where to... Where does X come into the value? Yeah, it displays might and power. Uh, right. Which one am I going to open this up in? Let's open it up in there. Displays... That is going to be under action scenes. Uh, distance communication hazards climbing... Um, displays requirements 
Right. So uh, there is a that that is shorthand. The stain the soil red. Uh, yeah. The character must personally have slain no fewer than three enemies during this scene. Um, at that point, you do X combat dice resolve damage, where resolve where where X is the number of enemies that you personally have slain. I don't think anybody's killed three yet. No, no I'm so basically, one. If you, okay, yeah. One. Uh, the what was the other one we were looking at? Dead man's stare. So dead man's stare. Um, in brandish the severed head of an enemy at arm's length, raising the grim trophy high for all to see. This violent action drenched in gore deters all but the most hardened foes. For extra emphasis, the head can be dropped dramatically, cast away as if refuse, or tossed into the hands of a hapless target. Um, mm. You have to have... Um, you. Oh, okay. Right, okay. You can That's only you can only do that if the head is of a toughened or nemesis enemy, and the guys you've killed so far are all um, just normal are guys. all minions. So you can't do it for that. If you manage to kill the squad leader, you could do it. Is on he your next not turn. toughened? He's toughened, but he's not dead yet. Right. He's on his way. Go on, Actian. You know your role. Yeah. Sort no. of squad leader. Actian or Kaya, who wants to go first? I'll go first. Go on then, I'll go first. Okay, so the guy you are sizing up to this time does oh, not um, look sorry, Louis. as... Louis, sorry. Have the... Um, they had their turn? Because they... No, they're about to. I oh, know, okay. they haven't got round to it yet. You guys have... No. We've all had a go. Yeah. Well, you had... have all had a go, haven't you? Yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah sorry. Did I roll my... That was it. Did I, was I saying roll my damage? damage? You rolled your damage, which took out that guy. Sorry, yeah. So what I was saying is, yeah. have a look at that for your next turn if if it's if it's available. Well, we can't do it. Yeah. No. Okay. So, um, yeah, the guy, um, the squad leader, um, wheels on you as the man next to him uh, falls, and I am going to spend two points of doom in order to roll. He gets to roll four d twenty. Um, Sorry, just to clarify, is this a second go for the squad leader because you had spent doom for him to have a turn earlier? Yeah, he, no. he ruined that though, didn't he? he? Turned it away. Yeah, and that would have been a parry that he was. That would even so that would have been a parry. So it would have been his reaction, not his action. Cool. You can always make Sorry. a parry as a reaction. No, so that's that's fine. That's fine. Uh, just trying okay. to wrap my head around it. Why did I do two D twenty? I meant to do four D twenty. Right, so we'll take two. two we'll D20. take two. Right. Um, Should I have decided what I was doing in retaliation before you rolled? Because I've got I've got parry and a shield. Um, no, no, that's fine. That's fine. Let's find out whether or not he hits, and then you can decide whether or not you're going to parry it. Uh, and I'm just looking at this. He has a, an agility in that time on 10 1. That is only a single attack. Uh, I've I skipped guard with you guys attacking them, and I didn't mean to. Uh, I meant for you two guys to do it. So I'm going to skip it for them this turn as well, and I'll try and remember to do it next turn. So, uh, yeah, he gets one attack. He gets one, so that should be successful. So, um, it was my one armor. You can parry if you want to, Charlie. Yeah. Okay. So how many dice do you want to spend to parry against this guy? So you get two automatically. You've got to put them in the pool. There are four points of momentum. And I get a free one, don't I? No. No, you spend a point of momentum to get your free one against uh, in the attack. Yeah. Yeah, take a, take a momentum, is, Charlie. Parry. I've got a momentum anyway, so I'll just use it. Okay, yeah, so use that. Do you only want yeah. the one? I'll just use the one. Probably. Okay. It gives me two, does it? Uh, that, no, that you start with 2d20, so the extra point of momentum gives you a third dice. Yeah, okay. That's not looking good. Oh, <laughs> okay. Can he use another one, Louis? <laughs> No, not at this point. He can't. At this point, um, 
I don't think there's a no. There's the option to re-roll damage. There mm. is the option to do all sorts of things. But well, once you have thrown that, two 18s and a twenty. I could trip over and miss me. <laughs> if only we were playing fifth edition. Yeah. Yeah. Good luck. Right. He's going to roll his attacks, and I'm just going to give him two extra damage to whatever he rolls um, for the uh, for the consequence. So, he is using only he's only using a short sword, so that gives him four dice damage. So, uh, I think I've got a longer sword, a toolbar, or a number two sword, yeah. <laughs> Medium. Yeah, that would mat that that would normally matter, except um like I say, I, I completely missed the oh, yeah. um carry on the other thing. So and Ow. you do get cover soak from a shield. Yeah. You do get cover soak from a shield. So uh you get to roll right. More shield gives you <laughs> More twenties. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so he will do three damage. What does the? Yes, and he got parrying. Okay, so he will do three damage to you, except you have a cover soak yep. of. Uh, so what's your shield has? Oops. Right, actually, let's find shield. Has shield two, so you yep. get to roll two d six. Yeah. Yep. Uh, to see how much damage you um, you soak. Actually, okay. and then we got your armor anyway. So actually, it's not too bad. There's only four points. Okay, so you take one point of that damage goes through your shield because you rolled a six. Yeah. And um, I get soaked up by your armor. And then one um, point for the armor. Leads. So where are we? I rolled three. You rolled that. So, so how much armor damage. have you... Right. Here we go. This is the first time we've hit um, a character. So I am going to roll uh, 1d20. Ow. One. Uh, I have a horrible feeling about what one means. You're dead, one, you get you're it in dead. the head. What? So actually, you're not wearing any armor no. on your head. No. So, I take so you take two points of resolve as... He manages you, you. You you manage to get your shield up, but the back of the shield just like smacks you in the head and and sends you slightly reeling. Um, okay. Yeah. Otherwise, otherwise he'd have completely missed you. But that twenty is is the shield hitting you in the head and That's just right. you reeling from it. Uh, okay. Of the other no th uh, two points of uh, sorry two points of vigor. You lose two points of vigor. See, just testing me now. Uh, right, and then the three guys that are still attacking uh, Kaya. Um, Kaja. Kaja. I don't know. I've given up trying to work out. Kaja, actually. Kaja. Right. I'm going to spend <laughs> two points of Doom, which means that I'm rolling 5d20. Oh, how rude. <laughs> Not impressed. No. Ow. Okay. So they only they, they only get two successes against you, and uh, one of them manages to drop their uh, manages to drop their sword. So they are not going to have a sword next turn. Uh, they will have to try and pick it up. Uh, okay, uh, parry. You may please parry. Uh, you Thank could spend you. momentum. You could spend three momentum to redo it. You could not spend any momentum and fake your gonna, chances. Take all three. Take all three. Why not? I'll take all three. It's the last and the last roll this turn, aren't I? So. Yep. So in which, uh, actually, no, don't take all three because you get. Oh no, no melee. Yep, no, take all three to get. If you take one, you lose one, you have one left. <laughs> that doubles anyway, doesn't it? So no, it six. doesn't on a, it doesn't on a parry roll, it only does on a melee roll. Yep. Oh. So if if I leave two now, then we'll lose one and then we've got yeah. one to carry over to the next turn. Lose all three. Yeah. But uh, okay. by using three, you've got less chance of taking damage, so 
I'm battling to do it particularly well. I've only got two successes, but yeah, and you've got lots so, of people yeah. around you, so yeah, cool. At least one. Um, so I'm there are rolling. three of them, but one of them next turn will be scrabbling. Either use one or use three. Yeah, use three. Done. And um, there's only there's only two successes. So, so oh wait, no, never mind. Ignore me. Um, so I'm rolling the twenty. How many? How many? How many momentum are you spending on the parry roll? Sorry. Five d twenty. Okay, so roll five d. If you're spending three momentum, roll five d twenty. Oh, look at that! Lovely, jubbly. We like that. Okay, what's, what's your, parry? your parry skill? It's three fourteen. Focus three t n. Four successes. Okay. 314 is, yeah, is four successes of which you needed two. Uh, okay. So you pick up, so knock out one of those momentum because you got two for that. As you just managed to, to knock the uh, knock the shield aside. Uh, just get rid of them all anyway, Bell, because at the end of the turn, that one momentum you saved is going to be wiped anyway. So No, she gets two back. Yeah. So yeah, get rid of all get rid of all but one of them because that is the end of the turn. So that momentum ticks down, but you've got one left because you have scored two from that. So uh, okay, top of the round. Uh, who wants to go first? There's only so there's three guys. One of whom is one of whom has lost his guard and is scrabbling for. And I will try and remember to do guard this time. One of whom yep. has lost his guard and is scrabbling for um, a uh, scrabbling for his sword. sword. Uh, two of which are still attacking Kaya, and uh, one of whom is the squad leader who's fighting with Actian. I'd on. like. Go on, Simon. Go on. I'll, I'll have a go at the three that are um, that are attacking Katya. That's all cool, because I was going to go for the squad leader to free Action <coughs> to switch and help <coughs> cage you out too. Go for it. Okay, who wants to go first? Simon, let I'll him go, go first. first. Right. Uh, would you like to spend... Uh, spend no, I don't want to spend... Um, what are the rules with Doom, Louis? Doom, basically, you get one die, one extra d20 for every um, Doom you you give me. Go on, then. I'm going to give you two Doom. Okay. That gives Ooh. me two extra dice. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. It does. So you roll four d20. Okay. Oh, nice roll, Simon. Three successes. Is that three successes or four successes? Um, your oh, yours is 16, isn't it? My rank is 16. 16, wow. three. That's four, four successes. Yeah, so, momentum. Uh, and this is at the guys that are attacking Kadja. Yes. So you get an extra three because you only need one to hit them. Um, nice, Simon. Nice. There's something wrong with them being on guard there, but hey, right. So you do that. Uh, you can roll damage. Do you want to... Well, roll your damage, then you can decide what momentum you want to spend. Okay. Rolling my damage now. <laughs> oh, that's not good. <laughs> no. Big fat Freddy that zero. Is, that is not good. Um, what skills has Simon got? I've got nothing that will let me re-roll that. He can re-roll on a healing check. Uh, he can re-roll doing animal handling. handling. But that's it. And he's right in the shit if he does a personality test and doesn't have it not work. But um, <laughs> yeah, so, so it's re-rolling damage. You could spend well, momentum. Free doom in order to do free, free doom or free momentum. Or free yeah. momentum. Personally, I have to say I wouldn't leave it. No, just leave it because they are wearing armor. Yeah. Okay, but you do scare the guy that's going for his sword. Um, <laughs> Lucky you bent down to pick it up. So I'll okay. say. <laughs> this arrow <laughs> lands in the sand next to his sword. <laughs> Genghis, Genghis, I'm guessing, is going to um, take a take a shot at um, at Zahur. Squad leader. Uh, the, yeah, um, I, I'm going for the squad leader, and I'd I'd like to use um, 
Cage's point of momentum for an extra D20. Yep, go for it. Is that okay with you, Bell? Yep. By this point, it's in the group pool anyway, really. Yeah, but it's, it's still polite anyway, isn't it? So uh, that is one hit and one focus hit. Okay, so that's three successes. Um, I am going to spend a point of doom so that he can try and parry the incoming arrow because he's got a shield, so he can. Uh, and I'm going to spend one so I can roll 3d20 against it. Uh, <coughs> oh, <laughs> oh geez, I shouldn't have, man, I shouldn't have done that. I, I will call that a big fat Freddy fail. That is a huge fail. Okay, so uh, yeah, he he far from parrying um, that deflects he... the arrow into his chin. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm trying to work out what to do with that consequence, other than just give up to Doom, which doesn't seem to quite reward it enough. Is he going to um, drop his shield or something? <laughs> I'm not sure that that's going to. Who do I know? Because he won't be How about you give me another couple of uh, weapon dice as the shield smacks him in the jaw as well? <laughs> I'm gonna no. I'm I'm gonna say, I what I'm gonna say is he doesn't get an attack in this round. Oh, brilliant! You you, you spin him round. He's not gonna get to attack this round. So I'll roll um, the. Uh, in fact, technically, I could re-roll one of the. In fact, I passed anyway, didn't I, on everything? What's your, what are you saying? You've got a... Uh... I'm on 13, so... One to, so that's four, not a three. I can't remember what you had. <laughs> I haven't got a... I haven't I'm got on 13. Of it. So that's four successes, not three. Oh, four successes, not three. I'm on three momentum. Right, so let me give you that momentum. Awesome. So you've ruined that. So I've got 5d6 anyway. Um, and I'm going to take just one of that momentum to roll another d6. No, 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 no. That's not, that's not the way it works. You roll, roll your damage. If you spend a point of momentum on damage, it's one immediate damage. So oh, right. Okay. Spend it to bypass armor. So if you spend it to bypass armor, it will go. It will go through two points of his armor, and he is wearing armor. Okay. So it's probably the better momentum. momentum spend. Awesome. So I roll this anyway. Plus, I get the chance to re-roll one of my damage die with my yeah accuracy. Is it so only I one or is will... it two? I'm not is it sure. One or is it two? Um, it's two for Simon. Is it only one for? You've got. Have you've got mark? Is it you who's got marksman and accurate? Yes. Or is it Simon who's got marksman and accurate? No, I've got both. Um, you should have gained an extra momentum for the attack as well because you were just standing there and doing it, and I keep forgetting that. Uh, yeah, you managed to re-roll two of those dice, and I'm going to give you an extra momentum for this attack. So, okay, so um, I'm on four momentum. I've hit with a five and a six. I'm now going to yeah. re-roll two d6. Uh, one of them hits. Okay, so you're going to be doing three damage. If you yep. spend one point of momentum, that will immediately bypass his armor. I think that's a good shout, so I will do that. So that drops me down to three momentum. You could also take one more attack. If you spend two momentum, you can take an extra attack, but it will make it a difficulty two rather than a difficulty one. So you'd need one more. You'd need at least two successes in order to be able to hit him. Guys, what do you reckon? Go for if it. it. Go for it. Okay. Go for it. Two more you've, down. Got, you've got yep. there straight away. So you've got one, two, three, which is bypassing. So you're straight away. You've dropped him. At... Um, or actually, you could just put three momentum in and do him an extra three points of damage. Which would still leave me in the same situation, which will kill him. Uh, pretty much. Yep, done. So the okay. momentum's gone. He's dead. 
you drop him well the other thing is that means that that attack does six points of damage which not only drops him to zero at which point he picks up a harm but it also does it by more than five so he picks up a second harm which definitely drops him uh i need to make resolve tests for um the three that are being attacked actually i'm gonna say now go on we'll get through we'll get through the rest of the attacks and then i'm gonna have to make resolve tests and they're gonna get more difficult okay so i'm going to at that point I know I've made my roll. Yeah. Um, I am going to scream at the top of my lungs, you're next. That's it. Okay. Uh, so we've done Baldor and Genghis, which leaves Actian and Kaya. It's got to be Kaya, because I've got the band in front of me is down. So I've got to turn the tech where, to somebody else. Where did that arrow come from? <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah. what's where you're shooting? Yeah, actually, it's just preparing, and the guy just drops forwards. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's the stare. That's what did it. <laughs> yeah. Nothing yeah. That arrow. <laughs> Death by stare. Yeah. Right. Um, Kaya. Kaja. Kaja. It's phonetic. K with the silent H. A A Y. Okay, no, that's that's I don't I don't care. What do you what 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 what's she doing? Malay 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 Malay. Okay, you've got a shed load of um, what have you got? You've got five points of momentum kicking about as a group here. Yeah. And how many foes? One and Three. Oh. Sorry. Um. Yes. But, uh, because I've got that talent, don't. Oh my life! Yes. Double momentum melee. Yeah. So yep. you could spend one point of momentum to get uh, an extra two d twenty. You can take mine cool. with uh with glad tidings, Kaja. Why? Well, thank you very much. Genghis. And yes, mostly the pun I was thinking of earlier. Um, spent two momentum then, one momentum. That will give me. Okay. Right, so uh, 4d20 then. Tell me how many successes you get. Three successes. Uh, you got focus of three, haven't you? Four successes. <laughs> right, you only needed one of those. <laughs> Three more momentum. <laughs> Spend one, gain free. Yeah. Right. So yeah, you 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 launch. Roll your roll your damage. Take his head off and hold it up. Actually, I hate to say this, but on melees, what is it you get to re-roll? I get melee? to re I get to re-roll two die on two. melee. That's Wait, it. Okay, sorry, it's damage dice. Damage. Yeah, that's damage. Damage. two damage, three and four. Right. Same yeah, as my archery. I get to re-roll damage dice equal to all ranks and melee skills. Nice. Okay, so roll your uh, roll your damage. And because we're coming to the end of the turn again, I'm going to um, spend two momentum. Um. Well, do you, ro roll your damage dice to start with. It might be worth spending that to bypass armor. I've still got to turn off. And then well. you get the option One, to re roll two, two of those three, straight four, away. Yeah. Five. So roll two of them, both fours, yeah. In fact, that's six, isn't it? That's six damage. Seven. One, six. Seven damage. But seven dice. Seven damage. Yeah, so that's seven damage. If you spend a point of momentum, that will bypass armor. Yeah, I'll spend one point of momentum. Okay, so one point of momentum. that scrubs one guy and he's going to be enough to take the other guy down. So we've got seven bypassing armor. Yep. Um, if you burn three points of momentum, you will kill the second guy as well. Does that, that leave, does that leave the one unarmed? That leaves the one guy that hasn't got his sword. <laughs> That's a 
funnily enough, anyone object if I spend those three points of momentum? No. No. Not at all. There's still three points of momentum flat around, isn't there? Okay. Yep. So, yeah, so you, describe to me <laughs> how, how Kaja, um dispatches two of the three guys. Okay. Kaja is going to have been having a fairly merry chortle as she somewhat enjoys this style of battle. <laughs> um, so she's going to be spinning around in a combination of and parrying and generally having a good time. Um, she's going to take one side step to the left using the momentum is going to slash from shoulder to hip basically catching three fellows in the one fell swoop okay uh i am not gonna ask um actian to make a uh to, to make an attack i am just gonna say this guy is scrabbling around trying to pick up his sword and you just step up and dispatch him yeah yeah okay um Take right. his head clean off. <laughs> yeah. Right. I could do with a quick break. I won't keep us going too much longer than this anyway, but I'd like to do slightly more than one combat. But okay. So I could do with a quick bio break. Should we say take five and yep. we'll be yep. back then? Yeah. Yes. Cool. T. T. Cool. Back in five. <laughs> T. <laughs> I know she's she's trying. I need Another beer, Doug. Oh, yes, please, dude. <laughs> Put your hand on. <laughs> That's more like it. Got to be done, isn't it? Got to be done. <laughs> Are you a um, Conan vet, or is this your first time, or? Second. Ah, oh, brilliant. What about you, Simon? Oh, it's my first time. Ah, oh, brilliant. Same as me. It does get a bit confusing with the extra rules. I've planned the first time only half the rules. <laughs> yeah, it's the, the damage die that's confusing me slightly. 
I don't understand three and four is a complete miss. Two's two points. One's one point. Five and six are one point. Five and six. One point each, but you get extra bonus things with it. Which is useless for us ranger types. It's useless for bows, but it does work for other things. Melee types, yeah, yeah, that's yeah. cool. No, that, that kind of makes sense. So two's the ultimate roll, really. Yeah. Not 20. <laughs> <laughs> no. 20 is like a, yeah, a miss with an action. Well, that, yeah. Although I suppose that depends on who's rolling the 20. Yeah. No, I like it. It's nice. It's a different system. It's totally different to anything I've played before, so... I'm very D&D orientated, so the fact that I've now got a chance to do different stuff is nice. I really like this one. I It's taken me time to get my head around it, but I think it tends to tie... D&D can get very... It's very easy to get into each person does their own little thing. Yeah. And I think this tends to mean you've got more of a group mentality happening, which I, I like. Um, yeah, I mean, in the last couple of weeks, I've done Coriolis. All right. Which I really enjoyed. Um, then Saturday, just gone, Coriolis was cancelled, so I ended up doing a Star Wars session. Oh, and again, I, like I like that system. Uh, I really enjoyed that, and basically they 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 put me as a merc and part of a, an ongoing adventure and that, and now Conan. So in the last week, I've really done three completely different systems. The Fantasy Flight Star Wars, I really with the narrative dice. I I really like that. Um, I've only played it once, but. I, I, just, I really like the way that everybody looks at the dice and then tries to work out what they mean. That's, uh, I wasn't yeah, sure. When it first came out, I wasn't sure because it's custom dice and I'm a bit, oh, man, custom dice. But it's that system's really flown and there's so many of them out there now, I don't think there's going to be a problem. <laughs> I don't think you're going to have a point where those no. dice are going to be difficult to find. Well, the Coriolis I really enjoyed. And I mean, really enjoyed. Um, and I'm looking forward to the zombie squad. Zombie squad. <coughs> it's, a, uh, it's another RPG coming out. Um, what's the name? Is it James Gantry? Oh, no. He's doing. He's doing a lot of work with um, yeah, James Gantry. Yeah. He's re really good friend. I mean, you know Ian quite well, anyway. Yeah, and he knows you. Yeah. Everybody knows me. Yeah, yeah. Not necessarily a good thing. I thought so. Cor Coriolis the Third Horizon, that's Modifius as well, isn't it? Yes. You've played, you, um... you've, played you've played two Modifius games in the last uh, couple of weeks as well. There you go. I sent you a link. Where did you send me the link? Right. I've got three things Facebook. open that all do chat. I'm looking at it going, I don't know which one he's done that on. Yes, yeah, so it's on Facebook. I mean, he's he's actually going to Games Expo in Birmingham, and he's delayed the release to make it right because there's a couple of things not quite good with it, and I think that's brilliant. 
I am loving, I haven't looked at it, I am loving its Middle Eastern Arabian Nights in Space. That's definitely... <gasps> That's that's definitely me. Yeah. I mean, the way they described it is imagine um, Suicide Squad takes on the world. And that's basically what it's all about. Down and out, so uh, ready to be dead. Get a chance for a, a break for freedom if they work as a team. Oh, my life. So it's roll, roll a number of D6. So roll a dice, pull of D6s. Sixes are successes. And depending on what you're doing is how many you're rolling. That works for me. I like yes. dice, pull systems. That's, that's almost like Hero Kids. I shouldn't say that, but it's... Uh, cool. I shall have a look at that, but I'm not buying it. James is laughing. Probably not without laughing. <laughs> <laughs> he just didn't believe me. He's having an earshot. Uh, that might be why he's laughing. <laughs> yeah, I there's I, I really like Conan. There's a whole stack of little bits and pieces in there though, which just leave my head spinning and i'm going okay so what do we do with that okay it works like that um yeah put in the review service for the cast on I go to the web page and the web page and it says the review service is unavailable. <laughs> <laughs> That's all good. Oh, it's, it's classic. That was oh, good. It was really good. It was. Come on, uh, Bell. How long does it take to make a cup of tea? We got this, is Bell. <laughs> Hello. I'm trying to work out how long tea's been served in a plate. <laughs> well, I was grabbing supper as well because I didn't get back in time to make supper. You left... Oh, no, I suppose you didn't leave me till about half past six. Well, that took a while to arrive. Right. Somebody wave at Dougie. Yeah. Come on, he's gone. Do you weren't just waiting for me then? Oh, he stood at the back of the room. He's still there. Oh, yeah. He is. Dog! Doggy! He's the room there. The what scared him? You've seen that orc in the hole. In the hole. Yeah. <laughs> it's got to be said, this, my, my, uh, I, this definitely doesn't flow as much as when Lloyd runs it, but no. uh, apologies for that. It will take me a little while to get my head around it. And that's all the extra rolls and bits. Yeah. I still I haven't got my head it. around guard. Come on, dog. I don't think you've been holding things up at all. Everybody wave. Dog! You might see somebody. Oh. Simon, Simon's in our waving. No. No, he's talking. <laughs> <laughs> Let me try Simon Facebook message him. Simon must have a on mute. There we go, Dougie. Is he back? Yeah, oh, sorry. <laughs> no worries. We could see you stand at the back of the room. Are we going, <laughs> dog, dog? I'm all waving. Trying yep, to sort the, um, trying to sort the, uh, Telly out for the missus. Yeah. Got to keep I thought it was on. Simon, are you alive? Should be it now. I can hear you. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, well, so it's nearly half ten. I'm guessing you guys probably don't want to carry on that much longer. Would that be fair, or what do you? That guys would be very to? fair. Yeah. 
Okay. <laughs> Simon's all drop zoned out, in which case I can keep it fairly brief. Um, so. I'd say about um, an hour max for me, really. <laughs> I, think I could see Simon crying. Um, right. So, yeah. So the um, Actian steps forward and just thunk through the last one of these guys who lets out a lets out a gurgle and uh, just uh, expires fairly quickly um yeah so you guys are now in this uh in this small gully um you can um obviously you can walk out and keep going the um keep going the same way that you were uh, you were listening uh, you were you were following them if you want to if there's nothing else you want to do while you're here oh anybody i think at least one person took um some resolve Me? damage yeah, you can wipe that out if you've got if, if you've got enough if you've got like two three minutes just to just to sit down and and, and collect yourself and, and work out the kinks that that mm -hmm. goes does mine and simon's shot get resolved uh oh crap yes and i'm trying to remember what it is oh sorry our load the guest recovered the same as shot <laughs> a load of ammunition what a phrase, Doug. Yeah. Quite, well, well uh, Simon shot his load, so now we want it back. So he loaded his shot, <laughs> didn't he? <laughs> okay, I think... All right, let me have a look at that afterwards, because otherwise we'll be here 10 minutes while I look it up in the rule book. Um, I think you probably are going to get them back. I think there's a roll, and if you lose a complica if you roll a complication, they're gone. But I can't remember exactly what the roll, what the rule is. So we will do that in a little while. So what else do you want to? Is there anything else you want to do before you kind of head off up the um, up path? Well, obviously, loot the bodies. Yes. Okay. Oh, yeah. In which case, um, uh, let me have a quick look. Uh, okay, that is a D1 observation. So it's going to be an observation test um, as you go through the bodies. Um, uh, actually, straight straight away, make me an observation test. Everyone. Um, can do the nature search the entire area as a single action yeah you can actually um d1 is that an, reach, d2 is, is that an observation roll yeah Ooh. d2 close or d1 reach um right let me have a quick look at that it was search the entire area is a, uh, okay right make me a d2 observation roll D2. But only Charlie can do 2D20, that. 2d20, yeah. So 2d20, you can use, I think you've got at least one momentum no, still I've left. Got, I've got two. And I do get to re-roll one on observation. Okay. Okay, so it. that gets you it. It gets me two. Because okay. 12 is my score. Right. You're still going to have to make observations for everything else. However, um you hear as the um as the as the sound of the um as the back of uh, the sound of the battle goes uh, dies down and, and this guy's final breath rattles out of him you hear um just uh, sounds like it's really close there's the sound of not galloping or, or or moving horses but the sound it sounds as if there's um horses just kind of standing still just probably around the next corner in the gully but you can hear kind of the the vague sound in the in the sudden silence. You can just make out like the 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 sound of uh, of a couple of kind of 